Hi, I'm Allie from Inspiralized, and today we're in my kitchen and we are making my sweet potato fried rice. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, I thought this was a show about spiralizing, and it is. One of the greatest things about spiralizing is it is totally versatile and you can be really creative with it. So I actually take those spiralized veggies and I turn them into rice by using a food processor. And it's really fun. It's a total takeout fake out. It tastes just like fried rice, but you're infused with nutrients and it's beautiful and colorful. It's just a really fun way to use your spiralized veggies. And it's always a crowd pleaser. So we'll start off by telling you what you'll need to make this recipe. We're going to need red pepper flakes, soy sauce, a sweet potato of course, coconut oil, two eggs, diced white onion, defrosted green peas, and then of course we're going to need a food processor for this recipe. And I actually just been using this mini chop from Cuisinart. I've been using it since my mother bought it for me in my first apartment out of college. So I love it. I've been using it for that long and it's, it's gotten me here. And then of course we're going to need a spiralizer. So we're going to start with our sweet potato. We're going to need to peel it completely. We'll start there and I will leave a link in the video description and show you which, oops, which peeler I use. I love this one. It's really affordable. You can get it online or in every kitchen store. So once we peel this, we are going to chop the ends off flatly and evenly so that we can spiralize them. And for this recipe, we definitely want to peel the sweet potato, but you don't always need to peel your potato. It just depends on what you're making. So obviously, since we're turning this into rice, we don't want to have any of that toughness from the skin outside. Okay, and now that we are peeled, I'm going to slice the ends off. And since we're probably all new to spiralizing here, I'm also going to slice the sweet potato in half. And I do that because it offers a bit better leverage when you're spiralizing. Okay, so now let's get to spiralizing. This is the in spiralizer, but whichever spiralizer you're using, you wanna make sure that you set it to the thin spaghetti blade. So I'm gonna secure this to the countertop. And I'm actually already set on blade D, which is that thin spaghetti blade. And then I'm just going to move my food processor over and grab a plate so the noodles will fall out onto the plate. So all we need to do is grab that sweet potato chunk and center align it on the central pouring blade here on the spiralizer. Push our hands in so you get it nice and secured here. And then just spiralize. Look at these beautiful orange noodles. This is only half a sweet potato. We have so many noodles and just wait until we turn it into rice. It's really cool. Okay, so just pull that right out, set it aside, and then we'll do our other one. Secure it again, and spiralize. And you might notice at the end, you have these little bit chunks. You'll see right here, the chunk, the leftover piece. I see a lot of people just chop these up cook them, roast them, and save them for later, or toss them into a salad or something. So you don't need to waste this. You can dice it up and save it in frittatas, things like that. So just always be mindful. I've seen people on Instagram feeding these and zucchini rounds to their dogs, things like that. Their babies like to munch on them, so don't ever waste. So now that we have our sweet potato noodles, we are ready to make our rice. And I'm going to transfer the noodles into the processor. So as I do that, I'm just going to snip them with some scissors to fit them in. And you could use a larger food processor as well. I just find that these are really affordable and accessible, so I um, wanted to use one of these in the video. Okay, so now we're going to add in the final bit of sweet potato here and pack it in really nicely. Then put the cover on. And now the magic of the rice happens. So I'm just going to pulse on and off for a few seconds until the noodles break down and they look rice-like. And you don't want to over pulse, so as you're doing this, just stop as much as you'd like so you can see in there and see when they're getting small because if you over pulse, it'll just turn into mush. Okay, and the big reveal. Yay, it looks like rice, or at least I think it looks like rice, and it cooks just like rice. So now that we have this, we can make our dish. So now that we have a little bit of rice made. I'm gonna pour it into this bowl here to save it for the next step, which is obviously cooking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep processing these noodles until we have a full bowl of rice. All right, now we're ready to make our fried rice. So we're gonna start with a tablespoon of coconut oil. And I love the flavor that this infuses into the rice. If you don't like coconut flavor, 
You could use olive oil or maybe even sesame oil to give it a more Asian flair. And we're just gonna let that cook until it melts. So this coconut oil was at room temperature. Just gonna give it a little swirl. And I'm using a full tablespoon, but again, if you're watching your calorie intake or anything like that, you could use a little bit less. This will just give it a really strong flavor. So now we are going to add in our diced white onions. Add them in there and we're gonna fry those up until they're soft, about three to four minutes. And while that's happening, I'm actually going to whisk my eggs together, which is of course for that classic fried rice. I'm just gonna add them here. One, put that aside, and the other one. I'm just gonna whisk it, whisk it together really quickly. And now that we have our onions all nice and softened, we are ready to add in that sweet potato rice. Stir it in here, fold it in. Ah, oh, that coconut oil smells so good. Okay. Just gonna stir it around so that it combines with the onions. And usually sweet potato rice takes anywhere from five to seven minutes to cook, maybe up to 10 if you have a lot of rice. But if you use the right amount of oil and that sort of thing, you can cook in five minutes. And you'll notice that there are these little pieces in here. I kind of like it, it adds a little bit more texture. Every bite is a little bit different. But again, if you want everything to look perfect, you can just toss these aside. Okay. So I'm gonna sprinkle in a few red pepper flakes, just to give it a nice little spice, a little kick. And then I'm going to actually season it with a little ground pepper. And I'm not adding salt to this because we are adding soy sauce and that already has a very high sodium content. So we just want to be a little conscious. Okay. And let that sit just for a couple of minutes. So now the next part is to fry up the egg. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little circle in the middle and sort of push the sweet potato rice to the side of the pan. Okay. And then we're going to pour right into the center. And as I pour it in, I'm just going to start stirring so that it scrambles basically. Take my fork out here. Okay. So as I add it in, just start scrambling. And you could definitely, if you're nervous about this, you could scramble them in another skillet on the side. But I kind of like scrambling it in here because it really combines well with that sweet potato. Just keep stirring. And you'll see it frying up nicely. You can even toss a little bit of the sweet potato rice in there. That's okay. And as it starts to stiffen up, just want to make sure you're breaking it apart so that all of the egg gets mixed in together with the rice. Okay, and now it's time to combine. Grab this. Whew. And now that the egg is fried and it's all combined in there, I'm going to just pour in my defrosted green peas. And if they weren't defrosted, you could have added them in frozen. Just add them in the beginning a little bit so that they have more time to obviously defrost and then cook. Okay, just stir a little bit more. Then you might have a little bit on your spoon. You could just push it off into the pan. We're not very fancy here, clearly. <laughs> okay. And now we can add in that soy sauce, which is gonna give it the final taste of fried rice. Let's pour it all over. There you go. You hear the sizzle. And now it smells like fried rice. I love this dish. You could make it while you're waiting for your takeout to come and then replace the fried rice with this rice for a little healthier spin on things. And we're done, simple as that. Now we are ready to make a bowl and try some out. Pour some in here. Ah, yeah. And the longer you stir in that egg, the more it browns and gets really fried ricey like I love that. And if you want this a bit crunchier, like a true fried rice, you could just undercook the sweet potatoes to cook them a little less but I like how soft they get. I'll just grab this fork over here, try this out. I mean, I know how good this tastes because I've made it so many times. It's always delicious, it's so easy to make, it saves well in the fridge, and it's just one of those classic and spiralized dishes, taking something that's traditionally a little on, on the unhealthy side, you know, very high in carbohydrates and calories and has processed ingredients, and just making it with a simple few ingredients, but you still get that great flavor. I love this, and I hope you guys make it at home.
Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you love this video and love this recipe. If you decide to make it at home, make sure you use the hashtag Inspiralize on social media so you can see what you're making. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can see future videos from my everyday Inspiralized cooking series. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.